Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson we're continuing on with the dynamic weather script and here's where we are at the moment. We have all our variables into place. We have our enum set up, the finite state machine and we can also pick our weather. So now we need to go ahead and fill out the weather states. Now the first thing I'm going to do is come inside the first state and I'm going to say debug.log will open and close brackets and we'll close the line off. We'll come inside the brackets, put the little speech marks and we'll just copy in the name of the function. And we can just copy this line and we'll paste it in for each state. So again for missed and twice more for overcast and snow and I'm sure you've guessed we're just going to copy the name of the function and paste it in over the top so let's go through and twice more and finally for snow I'll paste that in there I'm also going to copy this line and I'm going to put one in for the pick weather as well. And again, we'll just swap out the naming convention here. And we'll save that off. And I'll just explain how these works for those of you that are not familiar. Basically, now, this will give us a message in our console when the state becomes active. And we'll have a little counter here on the right that will count up while the state is active. And probably more importantly, it will stop when the state becomes inactive or the function becomes inactive. So why do we want this? Well, we want them in place to make sure that our finite state machine is working correctly. And that these functions are only active when we want them to be active. We certainly don't want two states active at the same time. So it's just a way in which to make sure that our script is working perfectly. So now we have those in place, let's go ahead and all we're going to do now is enable the correct particle system for the correct weather state. So we can come here in our pick weather where we disabled each particle system and we can just copy the corresponding line so we'll copy the sunny one and we'll just change it from false to true and we'll just swap out the comments so this time it's enables our some particle system and we'll go through for each one so here's funder and again we'll change it to true and we'll change the comment out and we just need to do it three more times now I'm sure a lot of you have probably already done this ahead of time but we'll just go through it anyway in the video and we just need to do it twice more so here's the one for overcast true and enables for the comment and finally for the snow and we'll swap out the last comment and we'll save that off there so now we disable all particles when we come into the pick weather which will only do for a split second before it switches out to the one, one of the weather states and then we'll enable whichever particle system is applicable now and I'm not going to do too much more in this lesson because I want to have separate lessons where we just concentrate on handling the light intensity and the audio as separate lessons so we're not doing anything else within them and we can just concentrate on getting both of them functions working. So I'm going to leave it here for now. Please remember that the debug logs are only temporarily. 
in our script and we will delete them or comment them out. Once we've tested our script and know that it is fully working, which we'll be doing in a later video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next time where we'll be handling the light intensity. And until then, bye for now.